Hello, in this video we are going to see how to create a firewall rule and how to allocate our uh, custom firewall rule to our uh, VPC network. Okay, so before going to the topic, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do subscribe uh, so that you will get more updates. Now, go, let's get started uh, our actual topic. If you uh, wanted to create a firewall rule, just click on the navigation menu and then uh, slightly come down uh, to the directly to the networking part where it does exist see here networking uh, you have to uh, click on VPC network and then firewall you just click on the firewall rule okay so see here uh, we have uh, create a firewall policy is there and firewall rule is there policy we will see later and uh, now we are going to see how to create a firewall rule okay before going to see how to create a firewall rule if you observe here um, earlier video in earlier video uh, we have created vpc demo uh, vpc network and then uh, we allocated uh, that I mean this firewall existing firewall rule to the uh, our vpc okay now we are going to create a new firewall which is a custom firewall okay firewall rule now I am going to give uh, firewall rule right so firewall uh, and then hyphen uh, demo uh, bt learn best tech learn okay one this is my firewall name and uh, description is firewall rule which we are going to create now if you see here uh, we have a lot of options if you wanted to track all the logs then you click on uh, logs on uh, as of now I don't require so that um, see even if you are uh, it I mean these logs also based on our cost okay see turning on firewall logs can generate a large number of logs which can increase cost in cloud logging okay so if you are uh, I mean it is just for demo purpose right so that is the reason I'm just clicking on off if you are working in a real time if it is really uh, useful and you need to track your logs then you need to switch on this log okay otherwise not required uh, which will uh, based on uh, I mean if you on our logs then it will cost you okay so the network if you want you can select anything see this VPC if you see uh, in earlier video we created a VPC demo BT learn okay this is the VPC we created as of now I'm going to allocate this VPC to this particular firewall rule okay now the priority we give it um, thousand as of now okay if you want you can check how the priority will applicable to the firewall rules okay uh, now see direction of traffic is it is like ingress or egress which means ingress applies to all incoming traffic egress um, applies to all outbound outbound traffic okay as of now only for ingress I am trying to create here and the action on match which is allow or deny if any action comes then whether you want to allow or deny that you need to select okay uh, as of now I'm just giving allow this which is default one you see here targets specified targets are there or if you wanted to have um, all instance in the network uh, or specified service account if you have any target tags then you need to give it otherwise I'm just selecting here all instance in the network in in our in my network what are all the instance are there for them uh, this firewall rule should be applicable okay so that is the reason I have selected this option okay see here source filter source filter have a uh, list of values like IPv4 ranges v6 source tag service account as of now I am just uh, taking IP, IPv4 ranges okay so the v4 ranges are uh, what you can take is uh, like I am just giving 192 the default one okay see if you remove it here it will show you see uh, 192 168.2.0 uh, slash 24 see how this IPv4 ranges will work that we will see later in the next video as of now I am just giving uh, this one 192.168.0.0 slash 28 okay 
this I am going to giving right now okay so now uh, if you see uh, see here secondary secondary source sorry source filter this as of now I'm not uh, taking anything just I'm giving none okay only the primary is enough for me uh, here port protocols and ports what are the protocols you want to allow into your site whether it might be you can uh, avoid uh, I mean allowing this uh, UDP or the different kind of uh, um, protocols okay I'm just taking uh, TCP okay if you want only TCP then you can give these things okay otherwise if you want to allow all then you can give all as well okay so as of now uh, it's fine anything is fine allow all or uh, specified uh, ports also if you want you can give it okay uh, as we creating custom one I'm just giving a specified one okay so it will allow a lot of protocols are there like uh, AHST, ACTP there are a lot of rules are there okay you can give as per your requirement uh, now see here disable rule determine if your rule is enforced on associated targets okay which means that uh, it should be enabled uh, as of now so I am not disabling it okay now try to create a firewall rule see it is creating now it will take few seconds to create yeah see here now it is created we will see in the list how does it create it you see firewall demo bt learn one which we created and we allocated vpc demo one okay you can get like doubt see this one is earlier one which is we created our vpc demo first uh, vpc network first and then we allocated existing firewall rule okay but now this we created firewall demo this if you observe only ingress we applied okay so this one we created if you wanted to see just click on that see how does it looks like okay now go to VPC network and check whether this particular firewall rule is applic applied or not okay uh, just see here VPC demo BT learn one right uh, just come down slightly sorry come to the left which firewall rule is allocated you can see here I'll show you sorry you go to firewall and check that particular VPC is allocated to how many f firewalls you see here this is VPC network allocated to two types of firewalls that is one is existing one and one is right now which we created okay uh, I this is the how, how to create a firewall rule and allocate it to how I mean allocate how this firewall rule to the VPC network okay I hope you understood well uh, uh, so if you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel so that you will get more updates uh, if you are not um, subscribed yet please do subscribe so that you will get more updates okay Thank you so much. In the next video, we will see about how to delete a firewall and how to delete a VPC network. Okay. Thank you so much.